I'm Randy Schramm, an audit partner with Marshall Jones. Here at Marshall Jones, we believe it's very important to have a well-documented reserve policy. This policy will work as a rainy day fund to bridge cash flow needs. If a nonprofit has uncertain revenue streams, reserves will help them become self-sufficient and mitigate risk. A reserve policy helps prevent knee-jerk reduction measures after negative, unbudgeted, undesirable financial events such as COVID-19. Keep in mind your organization is unique, so your reserve level will be also. There are three types of reserves to document within the reserve policy. First, the working capital reserve is going to be based on a current budget. Then, a risk reserve. It's going to help mitigate the impact of shortfalls in financial performance. And then, the opportunity reserve. It's going to be discretionary to prepare for the future. Reserves can be created by, number one, an annual surplus designation. This is going to be years in which the revenue exceed expenses. Go ahead and designate these funds for future reserves. Or you could do a budgetary line item for annual replenishment. Pay yourself like you're any other vendor. And finally, a special one-time request could be made to funders to help build reserves. But keep in mind, once these reserves are built up, they are intended to be drawn upon.